Hello viewers. In this video, we will demonstrate uh, the solution of uh, one tricky problem about which uh, many students express doubt. You note that in this video, uh, part of the solution is already there on the screen. So basically, you are given uh, three small spheres uh, lying side by side in the form of a triangle. So at the bottom, so you can see at the uh, above the xy line we have top view and uh, at or below that we have the front view so first of all you note that we have uh, the side view also uh, mostly many of the problems uh, are drawn without side view but in this particular problem i'll demonstrate uh, that uh, uh, you need the side view as well otherwise you cannot uh, solve the problem now uh, why you need that? So I'll explain that uh, step by step. So first of all, you note that uh, in the front view as well as in the side view, we have not shown the uh, tops of here. So we have three small spheres and uh, uh, lying in the form of a triangle and uh, we have a big sphere of uh, radius 75 mm lying centrally on top of uh, the three spheres so uh, we don't know currently at what height it will appear but from top view it is dead sure that it is at the centroid of the center of, of a triangle which is formed by the uh, uh, centers joining the centers of the three small spheres so uh, using that triangle and locating its uh, centroid so the uh, the big sphere in the top view has been placed but its uh, position in the front view and in the side view is not clear to us. So that is the main problem here. So to solve that problem, so first I will propose uh, uh, one possible thing which people may think. So some of the people may think that uh, it is actually uh, the, the severe, the big severe will uh, appear in the front view as tangent to these two spheres. Uh, so like I show it here. So I'll place it with the center and uh, let us say TTR command I'll use and it is, is specify the point on the object where it is first tangent so this point I'll take this point I'll take and I'll say its uh, radius is uh, 0 0.75 so uh, sorry maybe something I missed out so TTR I'll use and uh, specify the first point here, specify the second point uh, that is here and uh, radius so point 0.75 so yes so this way so many people will think it is like this but let me tell you it is wrong so it is not tangent to this why uh, the reason that the top sphere is not tangent to these two spheres comes from the same situation, same reason that uh, this sphere and this sphere, they are not tangent. You can see in the uh, in the front, you have this sphere. That means this portion of the spheres, of course, will be hidden. And these two spheres, which are at the sides, they are behind the front sphere. And this portion, so uh, portion of it will be hidden. Uh, but we will deal with it later. Uh, I want to first uh, demonstrate that uh, what is the condition for tangency. You note that the this sphere and this sphere, these two spheres are tangent. So why they appear to be tangent? So they are representing this sphere and this sphere. So you note that if uh, or you line you join using the centers center of this sphere and uh, center of uh, this sphere, you note that uh, your direction of viewing for the front view is as shown by this arrow and uh, that is perpendicular to this line joining the centers so this is one condition which has to be met if uh, you have 
to find the circles appearing in the other view as tangent to each other the circles representing the sphere in the other view if they have to be tangent then the spheres in one of the view so they must have the line joining the centers as uh, perpendicular to the direction of the viewing. For uh, the bigger sphere, if you see the line joining the bigger sphere and for that matter this sphere, let us say, so I will join the line from uh, this point to the or, or, or uh, center is here itself, center of this uh, bigger sphere is already highlighted sorry uh, it is to be done again so here it is already highlighted you know the line joining the bigger sphere and the side sphere it appears like this your uh, uh, condition of uh, tangency is not satisfied but you note that uh, for the side view, the line of viewing, the top view is shown by the arrow here. So you see, if the if you consider the line joining the bigger sphere and this sphere, okay. So this sphere, okay. So this is the center of this sphere. You note that it is this line is joining the center of the big sphere and this sphere which is appearing here in the side view so that is line joining the centers is perpendicular to the direction of viewing for the side view so from this we conclude that it will be tangent to this sphere but it will not be tangent to this sphere or this sphere so we got a point through which we can locate its height so it will be tangent to this in addition its center will pass through its center it can be located by this line and and then by this line. So this is the line on which the center of uh, the big sphere will lie. So that means uh, from the top, uh, from here if uh, 75 more you take, so that means uh, 75 mm offset we do or 0.75 AutoCAD unit offset we do. So the another line to which the mm, the uh, big circle will be tangent so that has been obtained so using the ttr command and line tangent to this line uh, the the circle tangent to this line which is highlighted and this circle so we will get the desired position of the sphere big sphere in the side view so from front view you cannot obtain because the line uh, the point of uh, tangency has to be utilized otherwise we can't uh, uh, solve this because we are not given at what height it is so here just we have to uh, be imaginative and to understand that where it will actually rest it will rest at the tangent but it is not tangent to the spheres which are visible in the front but it will be tangent to the sphere which is visible in the side view so the reason i already explained now i'll just execute the point so you if you have doubts, you can relook at the video. So, so TTR command I'll use, and it is a tangent to tangent to this circle, and tangent to this line, and uh, next uh, radius I can give. It is 0 0.75, 75 mm radius is there. So this way your thing is located. So now from here you got the height, and you can trim this portion of the this why because you note that uh, this sphere is coming first okay so from the side view this sphere comes first so that has to be shown completely as a solid and this portion of the big sphere will be behind this front sphere so that is the condition so behind this sphere whatever is there so that has to be shown as hidden so we are using uh, cyan color to show the hidden now from here you got the position of the center uh, uh, the, uh, the height of the uh, circle you got the big circle you got so from there so you can also locate line from the center of this circle you can 
from the center of this circle you can draw an orthogonal line and then uh, it is cutting here so because center is uh, right at the grid okay so now you have located the uh, big circle in the big circle in the side view from there you can uh, uh, transfer uh, the height of uh, this uh, circle in the front view also so this is the center of the circle so now you can locate where exactly it will be so i can uh, use uh, the intersection to locate the center and from here so the radius is 0.75 i can give the radius so this is exactly the location of the circle in the front view you can note that it is not uh, tangent and uh, let me tell you i drew the solution earlier so what you do need to do here the these two spheres smaller spheres these are behind the big circle so that means portion of uh, overlap so from that overlap uh, the portion of the smaller spheres will have to be trimmed or, or will have to be changed so for that you need to draw two circles and you can uh, uh, you and you can trim the portions and two different uh, circles you will draw and change their colors as per desired so in this case uh, you can see so this much portion will be cyan so and uh, similar way here also so what i am doing i am simply removing the circle which i drew as an overlap so at the uh, bottom so i have already had uh, uh, the solution ready and this way so the solution finally will appear in the front view so this is how you take up this problem and uh, uh, yeah it is complete and i will just remove the extra things which i had drawn only for explanation so you don't need to draw these points so this is all you have Thank you.